Okay, let's talk about adding vendor names to our transactions that appear in our bank feed, and then I'll show you how you can take a look at vendor reports. So when transactions come into your bank feed, and we are on the banking tab here in a credit card account, when the transactions come in, you'll notice that many of them do not have a payee indicated. And it's fine if you don't want to add a payee, but sometimes it can be helpful because it will allow you to run reports on that vendor later if you need to see how many times you've paid them or you want to check on something. So we're going to go ahead and add a payee to a few things here. We're going to add it to Google Apps. So when I click on the transaction, it gives me an option to select the payee, but I haven't added this payee yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, right here on this screen. And I'm gonna call it Google Apps, just like it says in the description, but you could call it whatever company name you need to. We're gonna click this plus button to add and the, the payee type, or I guess a name type, in this case is a vendor. So vendor is somebody that you pay, customer is somebody who pays you. So we're gonna click Save. Google Apps appears there as the payee. The vendor name, we'll click Add. And then you'll see now that we scroll down here, this previously, this description previously did not have a vendor. So QuickBooks is remembering, oh, this description means this vendor or payee name, and it's filling it in for you. So once you've created a vendor name, a, a payee name, QuickBooks will remember that every time a new transaction is brought in. So adding the vendor is really a step you just have to do once. So what's the advantage? Because basically these columns say the same thing. Well, the advantage is that you can then run reports. So we're going to come over here to expenses. And up top, we're on the vendor tab right here. And you'll see that we can scroll down. And here's Google Apps that we added. And you'll see our expense showing up right there. So that can be a very helpful feature when you're trying to figure out how many times you've paid somebody or if you remember to pay them a certain month or things of that nature. So that is a simple way to keep track of your vendors. And like I said, once you do it once in QuickBooks, add that vendor then it's going to start appearing automatically for you. And then those transactions will also appear here automatically for you. Okay, that's all you need to know about adding vendors.